Welcome to Your Gay Best Friend, hosted by Dwayne Anthony. Dwayne Anthony is a husband, father, as well as a professional. This podcast is all about Dwayne Anthony's life, shopping, sex, and whatever's in his head. So get ready for some messed up shit. This is uncensored, unfiltered. Welcome to my gay best friend, and soon to be your gay best friend, Dwayne Anthony. Hey guys, it's Dwayne, your gay best friend, and as your gay best friend, I am here to talk to you about etiquette on a moving sidewalk. Alright guys, so this was my encounter. I was walking in a place here in Orlando that had moving sidewalks. Let's just say the Orlando International Airport. They have moving sidewalks everywhere there. So if you're in your airport, and you guys happen to be standing on the moving sidewalk, let's treat it like you're driving a car. If you're gonna stand still, stand on the right-hand side. If you're going to walk past someone, pass on the left. See, this really irks the shit out of me, because I need to get somewhere, as we all do, but some are a little more casual and lenient about how they get there and when they get there and who maybe they're not interested in who they want to see when they get to the other side but i care because for me the other side of that sidewalk is usually my car or my job and i need to get there because i need to get the fuck out of where i'm at so you know when i first started thinking about this um episode i wanted to get into manners fuck manners Let's just do etiquette when it comes to moving sidewalks. Public service announcement, people. If you get on a fucking S moving sidewalk, stay to the right. What, what's so hard about this? I, I really want to know. And I hate being so negative and coming off very um, agitated about this. But I am. I am very agitated. I was going home from work one day. I got on a moving sidewalk. And there are couples holding hands, regular everyday people having fun, holding hands side by side, taking up both the whole width of this moving sidewalk and they couldn't give a shit. And when I said, oh, excuse me, I got a dirty look. Like I asked them to like, can I blow your husband? No. Can I like fuck your boyfriend? No, I didn't say anything. Oh, excuse me. And I got the look of death. Like, if they could, they would have thrown me over the side and, like, walked over me. I I don't know. I don't understand what the problem is. I like to see myself as a very happy person, non-confrontational person. I use my podcast to exercise these demons out of me, so to speak. Like, get those thoughts out. Get there out there into the world to see how many other people agree with me without getting the shit kicked out of me out in public. But honestly, when I am out in public, I am not always an asshole. I was not an asshole this day. I just wanted to get to my car to go home. I had my bag with me from work. I was carrying a box with me to bring home to my family. And I, it had been a long, hot day here in Florida. And my job, whether you, you know, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but, um, oh, and if you do know this about me, welcome back. Um, if not, here's a little inside piece of information about me. 90% of my day is outside in the Florida heat. And I just wanted to go home this particular day. And to actually have people give me a dirty look when I ask them to excuse me so I could walk past them because this moving sidewalk apparently, you know, wasn't moving fast enough for my taste, but was ruining their day by asking them to move aside. That just blows my friggin' ever-loving mind. Like, yes, 
the moving sidewalk was not my only option mode of transportation. I could have done the old Souls Mobile and walked myself, my happy ass, next to it on the actual sidewalk. But if I was going to use a little help that day, I needed a little help and I wanted to use the damn sidewalk. And I did. And it seemed to be, it took me longer asking people to move out of my way. And I see it all the time. I see people just blatantly stand there and not be aware of their surroundings. This is 2019. Be aware of your surroundings, people. I, I know this is a little off topic now, but honestly, don't go to places that's going to get you in trouble. Be aware of your surroundings. If someone knocks on your door and you don't know them, do not open the door. This is 2019. If you are going into your local Starbucks, like I often do, and see homeless people come up to you, nothing wrong with helping the homeless, but let me tell you, they are to stay arms, at least two arms lengths away from me. You know, I'm going to get so much hate for this shit, but I don't care. Like, I will help you. Stay, stay away though. Do not get close enough where you can touch me. Because chances are, if you are homeless, there is something wrong with you at this point. I, I live in Orlando. It's a major metropolitan area that have shelters that the police come regularly and try to get these people, the homeless, help, um, set them up. They don't want it. Some of them, you know, are uh, incapacitated in some way, shape, or form. Keep them away at arm's length, at least, because there have been plenty of times in my life growing up in New Jersey, and you see, I see it down here as well, where you go try to help a homeless person, or you can't give every single day when you're going onto the subway. And then they catch attitude with you and get in your face and start yelling and spitting on you. Be yeah, I, I kind of lived in that kind of a neighborhood. So where you're now putting yourself at risk and safety is has been compromised because you helped someone one day and couldn't help them the next. Bitch, I got a family and I got to come home to every day. I don't need to worry about homeless people attacking me people on the fucking escalator you know getting in my way or on the moving sidewalk just blocking the path and i'm not supposed to get upset about this this is just craziness welcome to 2019 we don't have to be in it for ourselves but we have to take care of ourselves first and foremost be aware of your damn surroundings people you see someone walking behind you or notice or someone says, oh, excuse me, show some humility and some humbleness and go, oh, yeah, sure. Sorry. And take a step aside. We got places to go. We got things to do. We have husbands to fuck. We have children to feed. We have things we got to do. So please keep that in mind. And this has been a public service announcement by your gay best friend, Dwayne.